when will I get my water next? Today? Tomorrow? Next week? Now, for those of us who live in parts of Europe and North America, the answer is as simple as, well, when I turn on my tap. But for three billion other people around the world, the answer is much more complicated. The issue is intermittent water supply. Millions of households have access to water, piped water. But the problem is that water only comes for a few hours at a time. Now, in Hubli Dharwad, a city of 1.1 million people in India, the local utility provides water once every two to four days. And depending on the season and the neighborhood, sometimes it takes up to 10 days to arrive. On that day, as you can imagine, all the water-intensive chores are saved for that day. So you're washing all your dishes, you're washing all your clothes, and you're saving all the water you can because you don't know when water's going to come on next. It's a pretty stressful day on that day of water delivery. Now, you're probably thinking that. That sounds like a water shortage problem. And in some cases, that's true. But more often than not, this is actually an energy scarcity problem. Let's think about that for a second. Water needs to be pumped from somewhere, and pumping requires energy. And to get pressure to flow through the pipes, or to get water to flow through the pipes, you need pressure. And that requires energy, too. But to give you a sense of just how much energy we're talking about, 3% of California's total energy consumption goes to pumping water to Southern California. That's a lot of energy. And if you're talking about a developed country, that's fine. But when you're considering underdeveloped or developing nations, I mean, nations that are struggling to provide even the basic energy demands for its citizens, well, now you can see how the water problem is intrinsically tied to the energy issue. Our vision is to create a world where every citizen has access to basic public services. We employ mobile technology to improve governance. How do we do it? We use human sensors. Simply put, people on their mobile phones. We allow citizens to give feedback in real time about exactly what's happening to their water supply. We take that information and give it to the water utility, making sure the right information gets to the right person at the right time. It's a live, human-powered smart grid solution to simplify water issues around the globe. Now, three years later, our social enterprise has grown from just answering questions about when the water will turn on to actually simplifying water delivery in urban environments all across India. Now, what we do is we tackle the problem of managing existing resources. For example, let's say you're a Nextdrop user. You get a text message saying, in two hours, water should arrive. But two hours later, you don't have water. You send us a text message saying, Water didn't come in my area. And we take that information and give it to the local utility, where the engineer can look into the matter. Now, let's say there was a pipe damage in your area, which now the engineer can diagnose instantaneously. In the usual scenario, days, sometimes weeks pass before you, the citizen, get water, and the engineer is completely unaware that precious water is being wasted. Now, this is just one example of how we're using real-time data and increased transparency to work with governments and citizens to make water supply more efficient and equitable. Thank you.